The Rescue Princesses Chapter 7 Ninja Princesses After checking on the deer in the shed and finding it some more food, Emily took the girls back to her room in the West Tower. The room had been cleaned and the sofa scattered with soft red cushions. Hey, Allie left some slippers out for all of us, said Emily, wiggling her toes into red slippers dotted with diamonds. Almost like she knew we were coming. She handed out the jeweled slippers to her friends, green to Jamenta, yellow to Lulu, and blue to Carab Clarabelle. Then she took one look at Clarabelle's sad face and sent an order down to the kitchen for hot chocolate. I'm just thinking of the little deer, explained Clarabelle. What if he's missing his friends? What if there are more traps out there that we didn't see? Emily flopped down onto the sofa. I know, she said. I've been wondering the same thing, but Allie will help us find out. There was a knock on the door, and Allie came in with four steaming mugs of hot chocolate and a plate of golden pancakes. This is Allie, everyone, said Emily. Your Majesties, said Allie, smiling. I saw you walking across the garden a few minutes ago, so I sent another maid to get those slippers. Is there anything else that you need? We need your help, Allie. Emily told her, taking a big slurp of hot chocolate. We need to learn how to be ninjas. Emily, warned Allie, that part of my life was a long time ago, and I don't talk about it these days. You can trust these princesses. Honestly, you can, promised Emily, and the other princesses nodded. Do you know lots of ninja moves? Lulu asked eager eagerly. Did it take you long to learn them? added Jamenta. Allie pulled up a chair, her face serious. Learning ninja skills takes lots of patience and hours of practice. But why do you want to know? What do you want to be ninjas for? We think that someone's trying to trap the deer in Miss Berg Forest without King Goodland finding out about it, said Emily. <clears throat> But why? Clarabelle burst out. Why are they doing it? Maybe they want to catch a stag to take his antlers, said Lulu. That kind of thing used to happen where I live. Poachers came to trap animals for horns and antlers. We've driven those people out of our kingdom right now. So you want to find out if there are more traps? asked Golly. Yes, said Emily. We also want to find out who's leaving them. Allie tightened her lips. They're probably doing it at night so that no one sees them. It'll be dangerous out there. But if we can move around the forest without seeing anyone seeing us, we'll be fine, said Emily. We need to be ready to go out there tonight. Tomorrow's our last day here, the day of the grand ball. After that, it will be too late. You will help us, won't you, Allie? Allie smiled. Well, your majesties, she said with a bow, it just so happens that you've asked exactly the right person. Ten minutes later, Allie and the princesses stood on the castle lawn. The girls had swapped their long dresses for tank tops and skirts in light colors. Emily's pink top sparkled with silver thread and she'd pulled her red curls back into a ponytail. Don't we need to be camouflaged? asked Jamenta. Not always, Allie told her. I learned ninja skills from an old master when I trained as an undercover agent many years ago. You have to blend in wherever you are and whatever you're wearing. You have to be swift and cunning. So how do we practice? asked Lulu, eager to get started. Well, there's your target. Allie jerked her head toward the other side of the garden, where the four princesses were play where the four princes were playing soccer. Prince Samuel's orange vest lay on the grass near the goal. Get that vest and bring it back here without being seen. That's impossible, declared Jamenta. They're going to see us. I'll go first. Let me try, said Lulu, her eyes gleaming. The other princesses sat down on the grass to watch. Lulu put on her dark sunglasses and sneaked toward the princes using a 
the cover of nearby bushes. She used her acrobatic skills, running and diving into a forward roll to keep herself hidden. But when she got closer, the tallest prince saw her and waved. Lulu came back, grinning. I was so close. Who else wants to try? First Jaminta, then Clarabelle, tried to reach the vest. But they, too, were spotted at the very last moment. <clears throat> Emily's heart thumped faster. Silently, she tiptoed across the grass and crouched behind a stone statue of a horse and rider. She peeked around the corner of the statue. The boys were only a short distance away, across the grass, but there was nothing else to hide behind. How could she reach the vest without being seen? Then she heard sniffing behind her. Denny the dog was exploring the garden. Here, boy, whispered Emily. Denny came bounding over. Emily quickly searched for something to throw. There was a stick on the ground nearby. It was small, but it would have to do. Denny, she hissed, lobbing the stick high over the grass. Fetch! Denny galloped after the stick right through the prince's game of soccer. Emily seized her moment. She sneaked across the grass, snatched the vest, and returned to the safety of the statue. The boys were too busy looking at Denny to notice. <coughs> Good job, said Allie approvingly as Emily returned with the vest. I was lucky, Emily laughed. I had some help from Denny. A good ninja uses whatever they, f they can find, said Allie. Just then, the smell of sausages floated toward them. They started the barbecue, said Allie. Why don't I give you some more ninja training after lunch? Great idea, agreed Lulu. But as the princesses walked over to the courtyard where the barbecue was cooking, a whale sliced through the air. My vest, it's gone! cried Prince Samuel. Emily made a face. Oh, I forgot. I should take it back. She ran across the lawn and handed the orange vest over. What were you doing with my vest? moaned Samuel. Nothing. It's completely clean, said Emily. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I won't borrow it again. Prince Samuel's face puckered like a squeezed plum. Mother was right, he said. You princesses are nothing but trouble. That's the end of chapter 7. I love you girls.